morning. I'm a little early. I couldn't sleep last night, so I just got up and jumped in my truck and headed to the lakes today. And I'm sitting here at the lake, but I don't want to get in this lake because there's an alligator in this lake and it's still dark outside. So I'm going to wait till sunrise or just before sunrise, but it gets a little bit lighter. It's, it's on its way. I can see the, the planets in the skies and I can see the light in the east beginning to get a little brighter. So I'm just going to uh, wait a few minutes and we're going to go in the water. And my objective today is to hit three lakes. Uh, I'm going to spend two hours at each lake and uh, see what we can come up with. If I don't find anything in the first hour, I'll probably head on to the next one. But I'm going to go back uh, to the two lakes I hit all the time. And I haven't been here in about a week and a half to four days on the other lake. And then I'm going back to the lake that I was in the last video. And I couldn't um, hunt it very well because where I found two rings, I know that I know there's probably more there, but there was too many families there and I couldn't really detect the swim area. And so I'm going to try to get up there before 10 a.m. this morning, before people start getting to the lake and uh, see what I can find. Because I just have a feeling, just that gut feeling that there's more rings in that swim area because I found two and one just outside of it. And uh, I just know no one's really hunting that. And, and I didn't hunt it at all last year. But one time is all it was and real, real quick. And I didn't really spend much time on it. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to wait for the sun to rise. And uh, then I'm going to get in the water. And we're going to see if there's anything in this lake. So I will see you in the water. Getting a solid 85 here. Let me see if I find it. It's not very deep here. I'm going to show y'all something. There we go. There it is. See that 85? Usually that is going to be a ring, a silver ring. An 84, 83, 82 will be a dime. An 86, uh, 87 to 89 is going to be a quarter. Could be sometimes a silver ring. But every time I get a 85, it's usually a silver ring. So let's go down there and let's see if we can see what it is. All right, got my bearing. All right, let's go. Yep, I told you, it'll be a silver ring. It's thin. If it was a thick silver ring, it would have been up in the 90s. But when it's 85 and thinner like that, it's going to be like an 85. But uh, I knew it would be. All right, that looks like it's got diamonds or something on it. So uh, that's the first ring. I've dug a lot of, I've dug three quarters, two pennies, a lot of pull tabs. This is the first. I started to think this has been hunted and there's nothing out here. But we got us a nice silver ring. All right, let's put that in the pouch and let's keep on rolling. Well, that's it for that lake. I spent an hour and a half here and uh, found a handful of change, a handful of pull tabs, and, and that one silver ring. But not another piece of jewelry, earring, bracelet, nothing. It was just pretty clean. So I'm going to move on to the next lake now and see what we find there. So I'll see you in the water. Well, I moved on to this uh, other lake and been here about uh, 20 minutes and almost shoulder deep in water, about mid chest deep. Got a solid 53 and I knew it wasn't a pull tab because it wasn't doing a double hit on the pull tab and it ends up being a uh, 10 karat gold wedding band. Check it out. Got gold and got silver. Now I need my cross, don't I, to make this an episode. Uh, finds are pretty quiet out here. There's not a lot of trash or anything else I've been finding. So... That's a good hope that it hasn't been hunted, so let's keep on looking. 10 karat gold, you can't beat that. All right, let's keep on rolling. Came way over here on the side, 
and I got a 47, 48, jumped up to a 60 something, and I dug up a piece of a, a aluminum can, and then I got this little gold plated fake diamond little costume ring. So hey, it's a second, third ring for the day. I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna make a few more sweeps and head on to the next lake. All right, made it down to uh, my new location. Uh, I was here about two weeks ago. Didn't find but one little ring here, so we're gonna try it out today and then we head up to that other area where I found all those six rings and necklaces and stuff. So let's jump in, let's see what we get. Well, I haven't been in the water two minutes and I got this real um, grunty iron sound like a 35, 38 and uh, reached down there and pulled it up and it's a butterfly bracelet. That's nice. That's something, isn't it? So let's keep out going. Maybe we'll be some rings in here today. 99, 94. Check that out. That is going to be a silver ring. And I'm only less than waist deep of water. Let's see if I can reach down here and let me find it again. Somewhere in here. Hard to do this with one hand. All right. All right. Yep. Check it out. It looks like a. It's two rings. That's why it's ringing up so high, so good. 94 to 99. It's uh, two wedding bands put together. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're put together. Hey, I haven't been here five minutes. I already got a bracelet and a silver ring, and I've only made one sweep through the swimming area, so. Maybe this will be a good day for me. All right, let's keep going. See right here? I'm Right here, I'm getting a 72. 70, 72. And that's what I'm looking for. When I'm out here detecting, I, I know so many of the familiar uh, numbers and the familiar sounds like bottle caps and aluminum caps and uh, pull tabs and coins and what, you know, what silver rings would be you know because they're going to be high high uh, you know 80s upper 80s and 90s what i'm listening for are the different sounds the odd numbers and that's what one of these are this is a 72 let's find it again it's right there it could be trash or it could be kind of a, a ring a different type of ring uh, um, uh i need my little Pro pointer. Hang on a second. Let me find it again. So hard to do this one handed. Let's see what this is going to be. There, yep, it's going to be a ring. Hang on. Yeah, it's going to be a ring. And that's what I'm listening for. Um, let me put my pin pointer on. It'd be a lot easier than trying to film with one hand. Um, it's probably going to be just a junker. Um, I have to look at it, but it's you know different number 70, 71, 72. That could be a real big gold ring, um, but it didn't sound like a big gold ring. It sounded like a you know a junk ring. But anyway, that's a my second pass through here. Been here about seven minutes and got two rings and a bracelet. Let's keep going. All right, here is a yin yang. Looks like a copper ring. It's ringing up a 72. It's one of those uh, signals I was telling you about on that last ring that I dug up. I'm listening for those odd numbers. So it's jumping from a 70 to 72, which is not normal numbers that you dig up out here. Um, but uh, hey, I'll take it. I just was thinking there was all the good stuff was in the shallow, and uh, I was thinking about going back and working the shallow, but now I've got uh, that toy and I got this ring here in the waist deep water. So I think I'm just going to stay, keep on going deeper, then work myself back up shallow, then go over to the other swimming area later. All right, let's keep swinging. All right, here's another one of those examples. I was getting a 71 to a 73, and it looks like it's going to be a gold-plated copper with a CZ stone in it. It's going to clean up real pretty. It's a costume ring, but um, I'll look and see if there's any markings in it, but I can see the gold flicking off on it. But still, it's a ring, and uh, it's one of those 70, 70 signals that you dig up. It's one of those odd numbers. You don't really get that off in 70 to 72. All right, let's keep going. Hey, 
Well, I'm working the uh, shallows, like ankle deep water. Kind of this, this area I didn't hit last uh, week. I just kind of hit knee deep and uh, to waist deep last week, uh, two weeks ago. I got another junker, uh, well, costume ring, put it that way. Uh, nothing precious, but hey, it's still a ring for the tally. So let's keep swinging. All right, not far from that other one. Let's get to 45 to a 47, kind of faint. It's kind of four inches deep. I believe it's gonna be um, stainless steel, but I'm hoping it's gonna be white gold. Uh, I see some markings in there, but I can't read it. Uh, it's too bright. I don't wanna get my loop out to look at it. But anyway, that's another good, uh, good find, another one for the tally. So let's keep swinging. There's definitely gonna be more rings out here, and I haven't started trying to do the deep end uh, stuff yet. So let's see what else we can get. Let's get a big gold ring like we did last time. Well, out about waist deep water, getting a 42. I was thinking it's just gonna be a piece of little metal. And I uh, reached down there and popped it on my finger and it's uh, stainless steel with some cutouts on it. So uh, that's my third ring. I've been here probably about 45 minutes. And so we're just gonna keep looking and uh, just working myself out toward the deep end behind me. All right, let's keep rolling. Taking a break in this hot weather. I have to go and work about, uh, about an hour, then I work myself in and get a drink and rest a minute and go back out. It's the only way I can make it through the whole day. It's just so hot. It's, the finds are pretty far between. I've only got uh, four rings out of here and, and nothing else. So I'm going to hunt just a little bit longer. And uh, if I don't get anything in the next hour, I'm going to call it quits and head to the house and uh, do a wrap up. So I haven't got a cross yet. I'm, I'm ready for a cross. That's unusual. Preacher Digger can't make this an episode if I don't have a cross. So maybe I'll get one here pretty soon. All right, let's rest up and let's get back out. Shoulder deep now, and I got a 46. Dug it up, it looks like it's gonna be a stainless steel ring. Gosh, that seems like that's all there is now in the lakes, just stainless steel and tungsten. Not very many gold and silvers anymore. I don't know why. This is ring number four here, and uh, so this area is so big, I won't even cover it all today. But uh, hey, I'm glad to get it. It's been a while since I've gotten anything else. So glad I got another ring. Whoop, I dropped it. All right, let's keep working the deep in here, and then I've been just kind of working the deep, and then going back to the shallow, getting me something to drink, coming back out, trying to stay hydrated. It's probably about 103 today, so it's pretty warm. Even the water's hot. Man, I just came straight from where I was sitting and relaxing straight to this point, about 50 yards out of water, about waist deep, and uh, got a 54, and but it didn't sound like a pull tab, and uh, it's gonna be a, either a 10 carat, it's a men's ring, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a 10 carat, I can't see, but a 10 carat uh, gold uh, ring, a second gold ring on this video. All right, let's keep looking, they're still out here. Kind of back in the waist deep water and uh, just going real slow and just digging all signals digging so many pull tabs I'm exhausted and you got this I guess this is a toe ring you see that broken uh, part uh, I was ringing up a 51 but it's real pretty it's a big big toe ring if it is I mean I don't know what that is but it's uh, it's very pretty the most decorative toe ring if it is a toe ring I've ever dug but the uh, reason why, it's, it's probably silver, but it's ringing low because of the, the uh, split in it. It's not a uh, round circuit to give off a real high tone. So, hey, that's another one. Let's just keep going. I'm just going real slow. And there's so much in here. You know, I still haven't even began to touch this. Well, I'm going to call it a day. I've been out here at this lake since 5.30 this morning. And... Uh, and I had an hour and a half drive to get here. Now I got an hour and a half drive to get home. I'm wore out. I had a good day. Found a lot of good stuff. But mainly just rings. Just just rings. So I uh, can't wait to get back and get it all set up. And I'll see you guys at the wrap up. Well, another good week in the books. And I tell you, it's been a good week. When I say week, it really means I mean two days. I went out on Thursday, went out on Friday. And uh, Thursday, you just got those three rings, but uh, Saturday I went back and visited that lake, and boy, did it pay off. Gosh, uh, I got, what, nine rings in one 
uh, well, you know, 10 rings, yeah, 11 rings uh, there in, uh, in, that, uh, in that one lake. And so it was a really good lake. And so I love days like that, but, uh, but that came after about uh, four days of just striking out, you know. So there's a lot of times I do go out, I don't find anything. And I, don't, I want you people to know that, watch my video, to know that I always don't get a lot of stuff. You just don't see that. You just see all the good stuff that I get. And, uh, but if you ever want me to do a video where I just go out and I show you what I find, just kind of one of those busted videos, I call it. I'll make one of those too if y'all want me to do that. But anyway, let me, I got it all laid out. Let me show you what I found. All right, here's my trash. There's all my aluminum. All my different miscellaneous stuff that I find, hair bows, a lot of fishing lures and fishing weights, or fishing weights, I should say. All my different vape pens. There's all your aluminum caps, bottle caps, a lot of pull tabs this time. I was really shooting for the gold rings. And my beaver tails, not as many of those. I uh, found me a pair of goggles. And then I found a snake in the water and some other little toy, a pair of dice. Then I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventy-five in quarters. And I got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six dimes. I got five nickels, and we got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty-one pennies. So a lot of change. Especially a lot of quarters. I can't wait to see what my tally is going to be here in just a few minutes. I did get a token. This is one of those serenity tokens, I guess. Uh, people that are trying to take it one day at a time. And uh, says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot and change uh, and cannot change. Encourage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. That's good. Good wisdom. Got me a post office key. We'll go see who that is. Uh, I've got us a watch face, uh, whatever, uh, frame. Only one earring, believe it or not. Just one earring out of all that stuff. And not a single cross, folks. Not a single cross this time around. I got a buck commander necklace and some type of crown uh, necklace. I've got butterfly bracelet. And then here are my rings this time. I've got... Uh, aluminum ring and then three uh, two I call them junkers but costume rings and then I got a yin yang copper ring then I got three stainless steel rings and then I got three silver rings I mean that's really two rings into one made into one and um, and then I got a real nice silver ring there with diamond chips all in it and then a real nice i don't know if that's a toe ring or is that get down here and see it a silver ring i don't really know but uh it's it's really nice and then i got this gold plated ring of course that's just fake diamond but i really wish that was real and then the wind keeps blowing me i got two gold bands uh here so one gold pl plated and two gold Three silver, three stainless, one copper, two co uh, costume, and one aluminum. And so I had a really good haul for these two days. I think I went into four lakes in five different swim areas, but most of it came out. Um, as far as the rings, all of it came out except three rings out of the, the uh, one lake. And so there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out in the lake for two days and come back and put it on your tailgate and make a wrap-up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.